Hello. 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 Hi. Why did you choose brown? I chose brown because the type of person that goes here is just really passionate about the things that they're doing even outside of school. And the open curriculum really just allows us to, you know, take classes pertaining to our passions and bridge both together. Because I was kind of starstruck by the alumni and the history, um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Toni Morrison teaching here. The people that walk through the door, whether it's the students, the faculty, or just the sheer amount of visitors, like politicians, presidents of countries, um, they're all exceptional. And I think being here is really unique in that I wouldn't be able to meet them at any other place. Mainly because I love the track and field program here, but I also loved the history and the academic success of all the alumni that have come here. I chose Yale because I really loved the vibe and the people when I visited the campus. And I also really was into English and law school when I was applying. So I really was into looking at the professors and the resources they had, and I thought it was the best fit for me. If your school is in alcohol, would it be a fine wine, scotch, beer, or tequila? I would say a fine wine. And why? I would. We're just, I don't know, I prefer wine. There's just something, there are so many different types. Um, there's class, there's flavor. It's just, it's just, it's just wine. <laughs> it's just wine. Maybe a fine wine. I would say scotch. And why? Uh, it's strong, but it's classic. Tequila. <laughs> and why? Because we're fun. I like to party. Some groups definitely have tequila vibes, but we're probably a scotch. How many hours of homework do you do a day? Um, <laughs> when I'm being productive, I would say three, maybe. It varies by the day. Some days I don't, I'm just in class, and others I spend the entire day studying, but maybe on average like three to four. I would say about two or two and a half. Five hours? Probably about three. One to 10, how attractive is your student body? I'm gonna say 8.5, but I'm also a very nice person and I don't wanna give it a low rating. <laughs> Six? But there's there's definitely some tens in there, for sure. Hey. Maybe like a six, seven, maybe? I would honestly give us a solid eight. Oh, okay, yeah. brown. I don't necessarily have like a scale or like a scale of attractiveness because I don't really believe in like Eurocentric beauty standards and all that. But I do really think that like if a person has like a certain vibe or how confident they are in themselves, like that is a form of like attractiveness. And I would say in that regard, Yale is about an eight. What's the dating culture like? There's a very prominent hookup culture here. Probably hookups. <sighs> hookups. <laughs> Pretty much 50-50. Like I see an equal amount of relationships as I do like people just hooking up, no strings attached. Definitely hookups. Basically you're either hook up and don't talk to each other or you're dating and essentially are married, but definitely more of a hookup culture. What's the best tip for juggling social life and school here at Yale? Definitely don't separate the two. I would say if you haven't seen a friend in a while, like invite them to go study or um, just surround yourself with people that you can have fun with once in a while when you're doing work. Staying on top of things as they come. Having a calendar and sticking to it. So blocking out your social time, just like you do your school time or time for schoolwork and homework, and then making sure you stick to that schedule. Always prioritize self-care. Surround yourself with friends that are supportive, that you enjoy being around and Try not to put too much pressure on yourself. Make sure you have your priorities straight and um, just have fun. Is your school academically competitive or do you guys help each other out? I think both. I think people really want to do well, but we're not afraid to help each other. I would say we're way more socially competitive than academically. I think we help each other out in classes. Um, I think we help each other out. Um, I think the workload is just so difficult that we all kind of understand we're in the same place and we grind together. <laughs> We help each other out 100% all the way. Do the majority of the kids on campus want to change the world or just be rich? Just be rich, sadly. I'd say there are definitely some individuals who genuinely want to make a difference, but people are definitely trying to secure the bag. It's a little bit of both. It's a pretty good mix, I'm not going to lie. There's a decent amount of both, but be rich, definitely. Just be rich. I wish change the world. There are definitely a few, but majority just be rich. If you could change one thing about Yale, what would you change? Divest from fossil fuels and cancel Puerto Rican debt. I would help uh, certain minority groups be better represented. I would make students more accepting of each other and of different backgrounds, and I would want people to celebrate diversity and being multifaceted a lot more. I would make chicken and waffles in the ratty 
on Saturday mornings. I wish everyone was just a little bit more friendly. Number one tip for success here at Yale. I would say collaboration is really key, reaching out to professors and not being afraid to ask for help. Uh, try not to stress out too much and have fun. Remember that you're a person before a student. <laughs> Honestly, I think just be nice to people, be humble with your successes, support your friends and everything that you, they do because they are going to be your support network and always Always ask for help. Never be afraid to admit when you don't know something or when you have a weakness or a fault. Don't try to hide those. Just celebrate them and be open about them. Always do your best um, to always be grateful and to always be kind to other people around you. Be yourself and really delve into all your passions. If you like painting but you're a CS major, take a painting class because you can. We have so many resources. Just. Take advantage. Do you think Princeton is the best Ivy League? Yes. <laughs> Should everyone watching this video apply to Princeton? Yes. Why? <laughs> um, because it's, it's really a magical place and I think it changes the way you view the world on the other side when you graduate. Do you think Brown is the best Ivy League? I do, yeah. I wasn't thinking there was something 100%, 100%. Should everyone watching this video apply to Brown? Yes, they should. Why haven't you already? Do you think Harvard is the best Ivy League? Of course. In your opinion, do you think everyone watching this video should apply to Harvard? Definitely apply to Harvard because you never know if you'll get in or not. And I almost didn't and I would have never ended up here. And I think you deserve to be here too. So apply. Do you think Penn is the best Ivy League? For sure. <laughs> Should everyone watching apply to Penn? Yes, definitely apply to Penn. I think Philly is a great area to go to school in. Um, Penn is a very good all-around university, and it will really push you to be the best person that you can be. Do you think Yale is the best Ivy League? Yes. And why? Just the vibe and the people, I feel like we're very different from other campuses that I toured, and um, I don't know, it just, it just had a different feel to me. So should everyone watching this video apply to Yale University? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.